This is the P-Key Mini Electric Screwdriver. Let's take it out of the box. In the box, you get the instruction manual. They give you a small container that happens to have some small screws in it. Whether or not those are going to fit what you need, I don't know. But you can, of course, just open this, take out what's there so you don't mix it up with everything else. And then you have a nice little jar to keep screws in in the event that you're not finished with whatever project that you're doing at the time. So that's kind of nice and convenient right there. They give you a pick, as I like to call it, triangular pick. Kind of looks like a guitar pick. Great for prying cases open on phones, tablets, and the like. Charge cable for it, USB to USB-C. They give you a suction cup. It's a little, you got to flatten it out from being in the box. But once you do that, it sits there, and then it will hold on nice and good like that. Excellent for removing screens from phones and tablets and the like. Over here, you get the magnetic work table. It's basically a magnet. You can put your screws right on that, and they'll stay, so that's convenient. There's a tube in here which contains the screwdriver itself. I've taken it out already. Screwdriver is right here, and they give you the stand. Nice rubber pad, so it stays where you put it. And then that just fits in simple like that. Let's move that out of the way. We'll move everything else out of the way here, and I'll show you the bits that you get right over here. This is also magnetic. Cover just comes off, and you get a whole bunch of bits right over here that will fit the screwdriver. So there's Phillips and flat and hex and Torx and all kinds of stuff like that. Stays in even upside down and the other side opens up and that reveals yet more bits over here. There are 55 bits in total plus an extension piece and a really great thing for those recessed screws are five extra long bits right there. Now, as far as the actual bits that you get here, I'm going to put a chart in on screen right now that you can look at that will show you all of the different bits that you get. And here is the chart with all of the bits. You can see that you get Phillips, slotted, Torx, that's a security Torx. You get the Y or triangular shaped one. Hex, Torx, that is non-security. The P is a star shape, which is called pentalobe. They give you a triangular bit. They call the other one U. I'm not sure exactly what that stands for, but it basically is a snake eyes kind of looking thing. And square bits as well. And you can also see the appropriate different sizes that they give you. Screwdriver is right here. I've already put the bit I'm going to use in it. At the end has the USB-C port. Battery level indicator there. Two buttons, down and up. Down will screw in. Notice it's lighted, and up will unscrew. Very simple, like that. It's real easy to use. Uh, I just want to give you the torque specifications on this. It's 0 0.25 to 0 0.35 Newton meters. Here's a laptop here. Let me just zoom in close on that. So we have our screwdriver in there. The bit is locked into the screw already. You can always use this as a manual screwdriver and you can produce up to two newton meters of torque by doing that. We'll put that back and now just like that it takes out the screw. What I'm going to do is magnetize the bit. You just sort of run it in and out of this right here The other side is demagnetized. So we'll put that back. And now putting the screw back on, it stays very nicely right there. So now we can put that back, screw it down, and that's it. When the tool stops, I think, you know, I've been doing this a long time. It's about right. It, it's not bad.
it's it's almost as tight as I would make it. I can't really explain. You have to get a feel for it. But, you know, again, we can take that right out. Again, just get the bit in the screw, because otherwise, you know, that's not going to work. So get the bit in the screw. Takes it right out. This one here. Pretty good. I'm a little out of practice. I haven't done this in a long time. And over here as well. It can take the screws right out without any problem. I need to magnetize the bit a little bit more, but you get the idea for certain. There it is there. So that all works great. And then, of course, we can put the screws back. So we'll put it back on there, back in the hole. And obviously you want to hold on to the screwdriver because otherwise it's going to go spinning itself. See, like that. So you want to hold it, of course, as you do that. But it's a really great tool to speed assembly or disassembly of anything just like that. Whether it be a laptop or a phone or a tablet or any other electronic device. And it's also pretty quick. Spins at 280 RPM. So it will make quick work of your work. When you're done, the screwdriver goes back in its vial, and you can put it back in like that. Snaps in. Cover there. Again, magnetic. And you have your cover on that side already. And everything packs right back up. So all around a great deal. Plenty of power, plenty of speed to make your job a lot easier. Once again, this was the Mini Electric Screwdriver by P-Key. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.